So, uh, what are we whipping up today? Today we're making whipped coffee. Whipped coffee? Yes. Is that like more powerful? Not like it's gonna whip you into shape? Or... Alright guys, today we have a special episode. Well, why is it special? Because we're gonna whip you into shape with the amazing whipped coffee. I know it's like new trend and everything, but we're gonna make it together. Let's do it! I'm stuck! Well, I just got whipped. I'm Zach. And I'm Lo. And here at Chan Culture, we talk about three things. Disney, design, and discipleship. If you're new here, then go slam that subscribe button because everyone else is doing it. And also, you need to go slam that bell because you need to stay in step with the culture. Now, you might be thinking, well, how does whipped coffee have to do with Disney or design or discipleship? Well, there's three things. Disney, uh, we got a Mickey back there. That's Disney, okay? And we're Disney fanatics. Uh, design, well, this is a design aspect. It's cooking. It has design to it. And discipleship, well, we're disciples, and we hope that you will be too, okay? Let's do it! I'm excited. I love coffee, okay? So, this Alright, listen, I'm just excited, okay? This okay. is whipped coffee. Alright, so like we just said, we're gonna whip up some amazing coffee. But how are we gonna whip this up? Well, for ingredients, you're going to need some instant coffee. Some what? Instant. Oh! Okay. Along with some plain white sugar. Like me? Oh, you mean just coffee. And some milk, or as we have, some half and half as the creamer. Yep. And then of course you'll want ice as well. Now, something else you're going to need to do is warm up some hot water, either in the microwave or on the stove, whatever you prefer. We've already done this. We heated some up in the microwave in Zach's favorite Disney mug. It's Rescue Rangers. Come on. All right guys, so let's show you how to make it. Now for the instant coffee, you're gonna need two tablespoons of the instant coffee. Now that is just one serving, so being that I'm making it for myself and for Zach, I'm going to double the serving size. So rather than two, I'm going to use four. Now you also need two tablespoons of your plain white sugar. Again, since I'm doing two servings, I'm going to double that and make it four tablespoons of the sugar. Four tablespoons of sugar. I've got two and four tablespoons of instant coffee. It's pressed into four tablespoons. The last ingredient is the hot water. And again, for just one serving, it would be two tablespoons of hot water. Since I'm making two servings, I'm going to double that and make it four tablespoons of the hot water. Now that that's all in the container, you can take a whisk or a hand mixer and just whip that up so that it turns into whipped coffee. So whisking by hand is going to take forever. Now you can still do that, but I think we're going to try something else. We are going to use a hand mixer. I gotta see this. I'm afraid. Oh baby. Plug it in, plug it in. Yeah. Ooh, we'll get out of Oh, baby! Be real careful, guys. This is about to go down. Ah, it's working. That's got a motor on it and everything. That's a real nice whip you got there. Oh, 
voice is definitely working much better than the uh <coughs> This motor is powerful! No, you're done. You're done. It's everywhere. Yeah, you're done. No. Ladies only your husband's <laughs> trying to use it. I just want to let you know that, you know, you can't whip it too hard because I got real excited about that motor in there and then I whipped it too hard and then when you whip it, because if you whip it too hard, like a mess, you'll say, boy. Perfect. Definitely nice and creamy. Now, like we said, you can use a hand whisk, although if you use a hand whisk, you will be mixing wherever. So if you have a hand mixer, definitely use that instead. I'm going to take you a couple of minutes. This is what happens when you whip it too hard. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. I just want to let you know, it smells real sensational in here. It smells satisfying, okay? Now I'm actually going to use some milk. 2%, baby. 2%. So I grab the ice. design and real elegant. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your spoon. You're going to pick up some and throw it on in there. Look at that. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at that. Mm. Look at that little like frost of oh, oozing sensation. This is now yours. And this Espresso, you'll love this. I have one more touch. You know what's also amazing? You know, if you watch this full video, then you need to go subscribe because you're going to want to see more videos just like this one. I'm Zach. And I'm Lo. And here we talk about Disney design and discipleship. If you want to stick around and keep watching us, then I'm just going to keep going. Because I don't want to go turn this off because this is really good. Do you want to go turn it off? No. Alright, then you're going to stay and watch this. See you soon, friends. Bye.